I don't always design a toy train on Inventor, but when I do, I boil her up. Today we're going to do this number six axle peg right here. And uh, it's laying down, and I feel that it's easier if you just stand it up and revolve it. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start a new part, a 2D sketch, and XY plane. So I'm simply going to do the flat top part. Go down. So it's got this a whole bunch of flat areas, and then we're going to fill in the arc. So um, the first flat part is has the diameter of 0.25, and we're going to divide that by 2. The height there is 0 0.031. Here is one. Height here is one plus point one two five. Width of the bottom is has the diameter of point two five, but we're going to divide that by two. And then from there to there, we have a diameter of point four two two, and we're going to divide that by two. All right, I think we have everything we need accounted for on that. And we'll add an arc, connect the points on the end, and then that's going to be 0.236. Okay, and standard radius means that that point of the arc, center point of the arc, is lined up with our axis here, our middle of the screw. So it's on there. We're going to finish the sketch and revolve it. I'm going to start from the top down. So I'm going to click on the top here and create a new sketch. I'm going to project the geometry and I'm going to make a polygon. And more specifically, it is going to be a hexagon. So I need six sides. Um, I want to make sure that I'm going straight up my axis and dimension 530 seconds. Finish that and extrude that hexagon down 0.111. next part I'm going to want to do is I'm going to rotate it from the bottom and I'm going to add a chamfer. So some of you might need to hit the down button underneath fillet and it's chamfer right here. We're going to click on the second one and we want the distance to be 0 0.03 and the angle to be 45. So I'm going to click on this bottom part and then I'm going to click on the edge and click OK. And we're good. Hit my home button again. So the next thing we're going to do is add a thread. So I'm going to hit down on the hole and click thread. I'm going to click it there. I'm going to unclick the offset and change that to 0.25. Check my specifications. Should be 1 quarter inch 20 UNC, which is what we have right here. Hit apply or OK. And it looks pretty good. I think we're right. I'm going to double check my numbers after I save it. And we should put this in our train folder. And I'm going to call this axle peg and then my initials. Don't forget to click save and then upload it to your Google folder uh, for your team.